Welcome everybody, another week, happy weekend. We are getting a lot of progress done uh, with our framing stage of the project. We came to the first floor now, uh, last week you saw us working upstairs. So we're downstairs working on our kitchen and um, making some small changes in other areas in a bathroom across the hallway. We took out yesterday the wall between the dining room and the kitchen and today we are framing up with the same members that we took out. We're gonna frame up a wall here just to have a little private pantry. Traditionally, this would have been a formal dining room that would have been separate from the kitchen. And we uh, went ahead and opened it up to the kitchen. We aren't, you know, super open concept everywhere, but uh, this is one area where it would be nice for us to have an open um, layout. We had a formal dining room in a past house and we just didn't use it as much as we would have wanted to or um, didn't feel like we got the most out of the space. So we're getting the uh, framing that was here for a wall down so that it will be one big room. So there's the beautiful floor we did last week and we are now in the bathroom on the first floor right underneath that bathroom that we were working in and um, for some reason this bathroom had two doors going into it also and we just feel like we only need one door going into the bathroom so we're gonna uh, take one of them out and uh, we'll use it somewhere else.
point there was a layer of flooring that got put on top of the pine flooring down here on the first floor. So we eventually want to see if we can get under um, the layer that we're standing on and get back to the uh, original floors. That's also why we wanted to keep the uh, flooring from upstairs because we will probably use it um, depending on the condition of the floors down here we'll use it some down here. This is from standing inside the bathroom. So we just closed a door that was right here going into uh, what we're going to have as a living room or um, that kind of a space. And there's still going to be a door here. And these bathrooms aren't large because this one's just a half bath that's okay, but we get a little more space by taking out the extra door and we don't feel like we need two ways in to this bathroom. So this is the window from the first floor bathroom that we just um, closed up the one door. It's really nice green summer.
everybody. It's just me today. It's gonna be a hot day again, I believe. Um, last few days have been really rainy, but today it looks like it's gonna be a really nice and sunny day. My plans are for today to get this wall finished, put the blocking in, and get that last stud that we didn't have yesterday um, in there, and then afterwards we'll see how much we get done because I actually have somebody coming by to look at some of the water heater um, and plumbing so we can order all the right things. I have to do some work in the afternoon. I'm really excited, it's actually vacation time, but um, still gotta get some things done in the office. So I'm gonna do a few hours in the afternoon and then the rest of this week. One of the big goals is to get the stack removed. It's already not connected to the roof. So we're gonna get this whole stack uh, taken down, down to the kitchen level here at least so that we can finish this floor here and have a little bit extra space in the pantry. clean up the wood pile over here get rid of all that move it all over to the other room for storage so that I can start taking down this chimney so this whole thing has to come down this is Elias's room and this is a non-functioning chimney. If you actually look up at the roof, it is not even attached. So, probably for today and tomorrow, my goal is to get that removed. It is Wednesday, my first week of vacation. So, this is I think a good project to start on that. It makes a big mess, but I'd rather get the big mess removed at the beginning of my vacation instead of at the end. I was so surprised when I took the chimney down. Basically, these blocks weren't even holding together anymore. Especially up in the second floor bedroom. The blocks really, I could just take by hand out really easily. In the first floor down here, there was a little bit of concrete added when they closed up. <coughs> the fireplace that they had up here, or fireplace, the spot where they had the pipe running into the chimney.
took me about 25 minutes to take the chimney down in this room. I still have to finish over in the kitchen, go one more floor deeper, but this really was not connected at all. I basically just was able to pick up each uh, brick by hand, which is falling apart already. So it's probably a lot of areas where we have to fix some of the old mortar in the brick areas, especially the fireplaces. So it's gonna be a little of extra work potentially on some of the fireplaces that we want to keep. Okay, so it's time to do the rest uh, from downstairs. Probably gonna be a little easier than having to bend down. Almost done, we've taken the chimney down. The only thing I can't get to is the last few layers because there's just so much debris on the bottom already that is piling up that I just have to shovel it away before. So I have to move all the bricks first out of the way and then get all the debris moved out of the way. We want to keep the bricks because we might want to use them out in the garden, put some on our wall or maybe do an accent wall somewhere in the building so we want to keep all of the bricks as you can't really buy those old bricks. So I'm taking all the bricks that came down from the chimney here and loading them up on my truck with the wheelbarrow to make it easier on myself and then I will take the truck and take it outside on the left side of the building over there in the driveway and I um, put them in a pile over there. For right now I just want them out of the way. Uh, we will reuse them later somewhere on the outside or potentially making an accent wall inside, but I just want to get them out of the way.
I'm pretty happy with what we got done this weekend, uh, this week here at the house. Julie and I took the wall out between the dining room and the kitchen, put, uh, built the uh, pantry wall, and then I had time to basically take down the whole chimney. I still have four rows or five rows that I have to still remove in this floor, but I will do that tomorrow. But since it's Thursday, I really need to start putting the video together. So I'll call it for this, call it for this week. And I hope I see you guys all next week. Don't forget uh, to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.